Time to get my seamless on. That quinoa protein wrap was pretty baller. Or maybe the acai bowl. Oh shoot. Interesting. Give me your burn rate. Yep. B2B strategy. Covered. B2C. All the way. B2B2C. Absolutely. UX. Mm-hmm. UI. Got it. UX UI? No. Uh no. Yeah, wait, yeah, yes. yes. Yeah, we yes. got it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our simple subscription model These guys kind of look like birds. Huge birds. Huh. I wonder who'd win in a fight. What was he saying? Nice. Sounds like a game changer. Hey, sexy. I think I left my panties at your place. I guess I'll have to stop by again tonight and grab them. Of course, that's not all I'll be grabbing. I'm so I'm wet. wet. If you thought last night was crazy... It's gonna be huge! Loads of potential. Lots of growth in this area. I am going to blow... So big? Your... I'm gonna be blown away. Fucking mind, babe. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. Yes! yes. Let's yes. make yes. some yes. money. Yes! yes. Oh, yes. this is great, yes. dude. Yes. 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 yes! yes! Yeah! Yeah! Are you a venture capitalist who's excited about all the pitches you hear? It's a very preliminary, more of a pre-preliminary uh, sketch, so. Not enough time to eat sex or live your life? Cut it out with Investor Buddy. Simply place Investor Buddy in front of your young entrepreneurs, turn on the Investor Buddy assistant pack, and go to town. Literally. Investor Buddy listens to pitches and decides on investments so you don't have to. The idea you have pinched sounds interesting. Tell me more about it. Take your time, enjoy a healthy bowl of quinoa, and listen at your leisure. With Investor Buddy, you can avoid those awkward pitch meeting moments. <laughs> Investor Buddy will even free up enough time to get other things done, like count your money, chop wood, and bang hotties. Investor Buddy. Invest now and get an erection. Hey, thanks so much for coming in. Wow, nice view. And we're right this way? Yeah, we're not into wasting money on a formal office. You ever try office shares? I don't even own these clothes. His eyebrows are from Eyebrow and B. They even sound real. Anyway, uh, licorice? Uh, thanks. So as you know, Impactalent is all about <laughs> impact. No V-neck. Interesting choice. Are, are you marking me down for that? Look, let's cut to the chase. Let's stop running through the bushes. Why do you want to work here? Well, it seems like uh, this is a really exciting place, and you guys are doing a lot of really innovative things in the... Impact space. Eh, wrong. Oh wait, uh, what did you say? I said that, that this seems like a like an exciting opportunity. Oh yeah, that's right. Go ahead. <laughs> Not this really matters, you know. We're all just a bunch of skeletons walking around, waiting to be buried. It's a sinking ship, my friends. You're in. You're out. You're dead. Nobody cares. Check, please. Oh my God. How do you feel about that? Look, we like you, okay? You seem like a really nice guy, but what we really want to do is test your skill set. Great, now let's wind down with a little and psych! Nice pivot. Well played. So, we started with an emphasis on making a real lasting difference. It's part of our company ethos. 
We really believe here at Impactland that it's all about the future of technology, and that's really how we define ourselves. Uh, no, 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 enough, enough. You guys are way out of line. I don't even want this job anymore. Wow, he was great. That was the best one so far. Love him. Can't wait to start working with him. Yeah. We're not just impactors, we're pioneers, engineers, proactive thinkers, pushers, sometimes pullers, ninjas, pirates. I guess you could call us ninja pirate next gen revolutionaries. It's about actually going the distance. We're not just making an impact, we're doing it. Big time. We founded this company with one simple idea. You. you. We always strive to go higher and higher, and then higher than that. Some say we're going too high, but we just look down and yell, we can't hear you from up here, we're really high up. What? With this rocket ship, it only goes up. You ever see a rocket ship go down? They don't, unless they crash. Innovation, inspiration, implementation. It's who we are, period. Exclamation point. Hashtag shoe on that. Hashtag dot yeah. Forward-thinking brands need forward thinkers. We're always pivoting, always. Psych! Just got pivoted. We call them super pivots, or spivots. You can't be afraid to fail. Failing hard means winning hard. That's why we have a failure acceptance so. Some fail more than others. Dude, you fail all the time. You have quite the record. Like what? That haircut, for one. Oh, at least I've got hair. Bald jab. Our design thinking extends to the clothes we wear. My personal uniform for success? A deep V. Dude, you got a mustard stain. What? How, how the? Fail. Yeah, fail. 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 Impactalent isn't just about spearheading the next wave of innovation. We understand that innovation doesn't come easy. For me, it does. Okay, what have you innovated lately? I'm innovating like five things right now. Name one. Guys. You're so close. I'll innovate your ass. Oh, I'd like to see that. Come on. I'll show you impact with my fist. Yeah, you're an impactic can't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Simply sure. put, right. at Impactalent, we're right. proud of being the lead. Hi, I'm Lance. I'm Vanessa. Welcome to Hot Tub Interviews. Today we're going to be talking with venture capitalist Nikhil Kalgadi. All right, let's do this thing. Oh. Ah, dude, come on. Hey man, what's the coolest part about investing? My approach has been to get really, really smart on a sector that very few people are spending a lot of time in. And a really, really big sector that is often overlooked, you know, is a rarity in and of itself. Because how could people be missing out on hundreds of billions of dollars of revenue that's going around? One example is housing. All right, housing is, as you can imagine, multi-trillion dollar kind of industry. The cost of a house has dramatically increased for decades, but the materials and the parts of the house have actually decreased. And there's very few technology companies that are lowering the overall cost of, of owning a home. If I have $7, where should I put it? You yeah. still owe me money. <laughs> you should um, probably not be investing only $7. Okay. What personal attributes do you think have made you successful? Attributes. Attributes. I was always a math person, and that math person turned into poker, and I used that to read people. My parents also volunteered, um, every, they still do, every single weekend they, they volunteer. And so that instilled a sense of, of empathy that had nothing to do with reading people. Just being able to empathize with the plight of entrepreneurs is super important. That gets them to like you, 
not necessarily in a conniving way. You genuinely are empathizing with how hard it is to start a company and the fact they're putting out a thousand fires a day and then some and are stressed about it and meeting payroll and there's lots of entrepreneurs that go through depression, nobody talks about it. Like it's a serious impact to their psyche. Um, but you do also have to win deals. Like you're up there, you're fighting against other people, your elbows are out. Um, and uh, in order to do that, you have to pull out all the stops sometimes. You know, I've done things I've negotiated against myself, but there's some times where I'm said, honestly, that's a better deal. You shouldn't take my money. And I try to be long-term greedy and being- Short-term giving? <laughs> well, short, being short-term greedy also, but not to the extent that if you're losing out on being long-term greedy. So that builds a lot of trust. And building trust is some- Fuck them later. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever thought about starting a business? What's the first step of it? Figuring out a problem. I have a lot of problems. Oh, oh, what kind of investing oh, is most exciting to you? Everything I do now is for-profit, impactful endeavors. Things that can impact a billion people. Things that are really going to push forward humanity. <laughs> <laughs> Venture capital, the finance industry, is I think still 85% white male. Yeah, <laughs> let's invest that seven bucks. What's your Uber score? As a driver, boom! If you weren't a venture capitalist, what would you be? You know, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a fire truck. Probably. Weird. When you write a company a check, yeah. say it's like a you know, big multi-million dollar check, yeah. how do you do that? Do you give them like one of those big sweepstakes checks? <laughs> Writing a check is one of the most exciting moments you should. Uh, as an investor. Because it's like the beginning, everything's bright and rosy and I love it. Because you're thinking like, this sure. is the seed. This I'm is planting it. the seed. Take my seed. <laughs> right. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> Tell us about Diamond Foundry, because apparently megastar Leonardo DiCaprio invested in it. Leo did invest in the company, but I had no participation. Who's cooler, like him or Brad Pitt? I haven't. I think it's Steve Carell now. Steve Carell? He's no, nah, he's not as cool. No. He's the new he's, I mean, he's funny. But he's he's cool, but he's not as cool nah, as those guys. How much does work ethic versus kind of just natural instinct matter? There's a lot of places you can put in hours that aren't valuable. I think that's actually the biggest issue for, for most VCs. When you get the call that's like, everything's going to shit, are you really willing to dig down and spend a lot of time helping that entrepreneur deal with that drama? It's getting in there, making the phone calls, convincing a board that they should acquire this company, renegotiating contracts, or it's firing important people. That is putting in the work right there. And you can put in work easily, into other areas like finding a new deal, which in my mind would be the wrong way to spend your time. This fell off, I feel like, which is probably the important part of the key thing. Who's cooler, Gary Vanderchuk or former Dawson's Creek lead and megastar James Vanderbeek? James Vanderbeek. On your Twitter profile, you note that you're not Aziz Ansari. Why not? Aziz Ansari. Seamless or grandpa. Or Netflix. Netflix. Um, Can I have your password? Yes. Okay. iOS or Android? Why? iOS. It's easy. Really? Maybe. Huh. What's your favorite Snapchat filter? Uh, the See, song. it's the puppy dog. <laughs> Puking rainbow. Delta or Southwest? Trick question is Jet Blue. Son of a. What's the coolest part about being a TV show host? I don't even like it. Stuff. And the chicks. Do you guys use dating apps? Dating, I... I've been kicked off a few. Did you guys meet on a dating app? We met at a WeWork singles event. We'll send you an invite. It's okay. No, we That's will okay. though, we will. I'll get your info. I'll follow up. So Send you, you a use, selfie. You can use that. Thick pics. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. First of all, it's, you know oh. it's on shoot, it's after. Okay, well, let's go again. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. You're, it's, Wait, oh, it's three times. Okay, it's, sorry. It's, it's, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, thanks for coming by, man. It's a pleasure meeting you, too. Thank you. Not as easy.
Nikhil. 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 And cut. I'm out. Oh. Oh man. How are you getting home, man? 